Hi guys, this is GSN1.com and I'm here with the Xiaomi 14T. It has just been unveiled here in Berlin. We're dealing with a handset that costs below 650 euros and has some of the specs of the main Pro model. For example, it has the same screen AMOLED 144 hertz with a Full HD Plus resolution. Now, of course, the processor has been swapped. Instead of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus, we have a MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra. And the phone is focused on two aspects. Low light capture, master light capture night with the Leica Sumilux, as well as, well, advanced AI. Okay, in the advanced AI section, you'll get all the novelties AI related to this phone. If only I can get it to work. So we go here. Finally, we have Google Gemini on Xiaomi phones. We have circle to search where you can look up stuff by circling it on the screen. We also have AI notes, which lets you, well, take notes and uh, do summaries and uh, turn voice recordings into text. AI interpreter translates in real time, including calls and face-to-face -face interactions. And AI subtitles and AI recorder is available as well. You can edit images and uh, erase uh, objects and people from photos, and you can do AI film and AI portrait as well. Now, I talked about the screen. Once again, AMOLED up to 4,000 nits or something like that, 144 hertz. This is the CPU, the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra, uh, which is also supposed to come with LPDDR5X RAM, up to 16 gigs and UFS 4.0 storage, half a terabyte on this model alone. The battery is a 5,000 mAh unit, 67 watt charging, and the main sensor here is the Sony IMX986. It should have optical image stabilization, and uh, the other cameras are ultra wide. If I remember correctly, 40, no, 12 megapixel and a 50 megapixel um, should be a telephoto camera with something like 2x zoom. We can also have a look at the camera interface because there are a lot of cool features here. Of course, Leica powered. Leica comes here in the form of the lenses, the filters, the photo styles, the shutter sound, and the watermark. We have dual view video, excuse me, we have dual video, which lets you capture with the front and back camera at the same time. We have a director mode, which includes the ability to record log videos. Log videos seem to be gray at first. In reality, they're capturing REC 2020 colors, which is a wider band of color compared to um, regular colors like uh, SDR or things like that. You can set the frame rate here, you can set the white balance, focus, shutter, ISO, and it's a cinematic capture, which lets you also swap between lenses white, ultra-white, or telephoto. Let's see other modes. So, short video, dual video, director mode, 50 megapixel, full resolution, slow motion, long exposure, night, panorama, and time-lapse. You can capture documents, use for students. We can also do portrait shots, but with special Leica portrait or master portrait styling, which lets you choose the focal length, fit for magazines or National Geographic photo shoots. More options here. HD portrait is available as well, plus watermark. Then we have the Leica styles, like a vibrant and like authentic, depending on your colors you like. Then in the video section, you can shoot up to 4K in something like 60 frames per second. Uh, the other model has 8K, the Pro model. We have teleprompter features, so if you're a journalist, you can record yourself speaking with a teleprompter. This is the movie mode, which includes master cinema. And finally, Pro mode for photo and video, exposure, ISO, shutter, focus, and white balance. For photo and video, once again. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, not sure if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, how can you tell if you have the 14T or the 14T Pro? It's very easy. The 14T has a flat backside. The 14T Pro has a gently curved side at the back. That's how you can tell between them. The front camera is a 32 megapixel shooter, should be capable of 4K capture, and those are all the specs you have. Of course, if you want to talk about software, it's HyperOS applied on top of Android 14 here with a ton of storage and RAM, and you can add more virtually. Once again, there's AI, there's Gemini, there's a circuit to search, and so much more. We'll be back with a full review pretty soon. We're in Berlin for now, ready to take nighttime shots with the Xiaomi 14T and 14T Pro. Goodbye.